Hello everybody and what's up? How are you today? Hope everything is okay with you. Today we have a new lesson which is classify and categorize. What is classify and categorize and when to use it? Classify and categorize means to put all the words that is related to each other to put it under the same category. When to use it? We use it most of the time with the words that we know it for the first time and for the new vocabulary that we learn. So to understand it better, we have to put it under uh, categorize or classification. Okay, then how it can help us? This it can help us to understand the meaning of different words that we didn't hear before. For example, if you have a category like animals, for example, and you have under this category elephants, tigers, li uh, lions, deers, deer and alligators, oxen or cats. Now. You know all of these kind of animals, but you never heard about the word alligator before, for example. So if you know that this category is related to animals and then you see that there's alligator, you don't know what does it mean alligator, but by sense, you know, since it's under the same category, which is animals, then you will know that this is animal. Okay, so this can help you to figure out new words that you never heard before that since it's under the same category it will be the same thing for example colors you know all the colors but you don't know what does it mean the color gray but you know that since it's under the same category which is colors then by the by default it will be what it will be a color also so if you search about it in the dictionary you will find that gray it means what the color gray which is something that you didn't know before you didn't see before but you know it right now that it's kind of colors okay also for example if we have a list of football players you know Lionel Messi you know Ronaldo you know Neymar but you never heard about for example Rivaldo Rivaldo is a player that he was playing in the 18s okay so you didn't know him before you didn't see him before but you know since he is a name under the same category which is football player so by default he will be what a football player also so categorize and classify can help us to classify words that is related to each other uh, to each other under the same category and this can help us to understand new meanings and new words is it busy okay so let's have some activity on that okay i want you to open the page 414 in your books and we'll have a little activity about it in this activity we have here some words from the dictionary we're gonna take it and put it in the right place that is related to it we have the first word which is adverb adverb is a large animal that eats ants above in a position over something when you put something above the table for example behind someone is sitting behind me is a posi position in the back elephant is a large animal that has a trunk front is in the first position 90 is a number after 89 17 is a number also after 16 sloth is a, a slow moving animal that hangs upside down from a tree 32 the number after 31 now we have here some categorize or categories which is number words position words and animal words what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the word that is related to the category and write it in the same place so can you do that with me Let's try it together. Okay, for the number words, for example, which one should be? It should be, for example, 90. This is number one. Okay, and also we have, for example, 17, obviously. All of these are numbers. Also we have 30, yes, 30, one, excellent. What about position words? Things that tell you the location or the position. We have above, above the table. Someone sitting behind me, so it's gonna be behind. And then we have front. What about animals? Huh. Some of the animals have long trunks, which is elephant. And some of the animal is eating ants, so at work. And some of the animals is hanging from a tree, which is a sloth. Is it easy?